we have a simple solution that says okay earth is warming up we're going to stick acs in all our buildings and we're going to get relief but if you think about it this is almost like a snake eating its tail when it's hungry you're actually going to be making it worse for the next generation that's coming in which is now going to have a warmer planet because of the increased air conditioning use if you look at the aspirational buying of indian families now middle class families the first sort of comfort appliance they buy to improve the quality of life is air conditioning that market is expected to grow from approximately 8 million odd acs installed in india in 2015 to close to 2 to 300 million acs in the next 20 years which is a a dramatic increase something for which we don't have a corresponding energy generation plan no country has this kind of aspiration and this kind of resource poverty that we have so we realize that there is a, a very important behavior change a perception change that is required india has had a remarkably rich history of cooling its buildings efficiently if you look at rural architecture or appropriate architecture that is of a vernacular nature or look at the large sort of iconic buildings of india they have all have had uh, experiences with what is called passive cooling techniques which is techniques to ensure that only the bare minimum permissible amount of solar heat actually affects the building and heats it up in addition to that there are techniques to allow the heat that does come in to leave you know as efficiently as possible so ventilation techniques you know ensuring that there is a good cross flow of wind through the place the idea of courtyard central courtyards which you know allow for convection currents to develop and thereby allowing breeze to come in that's one set of technologies which are to do with the building itself on the other side in terms of cooling the space artificially there are techniques such as what's called radiant or structure cooling where the structure itself becomes a river of water and it is able to actually extract this heat before it starts affecting the occupants our intervention at this stage is a very calculated intervention so once students have made up their mind that yes they want to be practitioners of this very rich field of architecture or engineering related to cooling we want to get them into a state of thoughtful design thoughtful a rethinking of their entire field and sowing the seeds of energy efficiency deep into their curricula in a manner that they do not even know that they have been transformed in terms of their skill levels this is our goal we do not want to be an additive process a separate intervention which can be clearly identified and then perhaps even you know eliminated at some point if there's a policy change or if there's a mindset change we want to integrate it so deeply that you would have to unravel the entire business of architecture to be able to get this back out